Whenever you're multiplying, subtracting, or dividing with fractions, you must always convert them into improper fractions if they're mixed numbers. So here we've got two mixed numbers. We've got um, six and a half, and we've got uh, four and a third. So we need to convert these into uh, what we call improper fractions, top-heavy fractions. Um, and we do that by timesing the big number by the bottom number, then adding it to the top. And we do that for both of these. So I'm going to do uh, 6 times 2, which is 12, plus the 1 at the top, which is 13. And it's going to be over 2. Then I'm going to do 4 times 3, which is 12. Add to the top, which is going to be also 13, this time over 3. Now, when the denominators are different, when we add or subtract, we've got to get the denominators the same. So I look at this um, fraction here, and what am I going to times top and bottom by to get it the same as this one? We're looking at the bottoms, we've got 2 and a 3, so we've got to find the first uh, number in the 2 and the 3 times table, which is going to be 6. So we're going to times top and bottom here by 3 to get that 2 to a 6, and we're going to times top and bottom here by 2 to get that bottom to a 6. So 13 times 3 is going to be 39 over 6, and uh, 13 times 2 is going to be 26, and then 3 times 2 is 6. Now we just simply subtract the tops, which is going to be 13, and then put it over the same denominator as we've had in the two fractions there, so it's going to be over 6. So we need to make it a mixed number in its simplest form, so we ask ourselves how many, six can I, how many sixes can I take away from 13? Well, I can take away two whole ones. How many remainders do I have left? Well, 6 times 2 is 12, so it's going to be one remainder, and the bottom of the fraction stays the same. So it's going to be 2 and 1 sixth. For this second um, question, we need to convert these into um, uh, top-heavy fractions or improper fractions, like we did before. So 5 times the 4 is 20, add to the top 21 over 4, and 3 times 3 is 9, add to the top is 10, keep the bottom the same. Now here we have this uh, three-letter acronym, which for some reason uh, all the students remember. It's KFC. I have no idea why people remember that. <laughs> so what KFC stands for is Keep Flip Change. Some students remember it as KCF or Same Change Flip. Whatever works for you, stick with it. So we've got 21 over 4. Keep that the same. Change the divide sign to a times, because you can't really divide with fractions, so we change it to a times. But to do that, we need to flip the second one. So it becomes 3 over 10. Now, um, what we're going to do now is we just simply times the tops and times the bottoms. And that's all we've got to do. So it's going to be 63 over 40. So again, we want to leave it as a mixed number. So how many 40s can I take away from 63? Well, 1. And when I do that, I'm left with 23 over 40. Now, 23 uh, is a prime number, so unless uh, 23 goes into 40, which it doesn't, that is our simplest form.